Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. So this video is all about this look right here. I've even done a hair tutorial for you to see how I achieved this look. Um, it's for people who dare to go short. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this look. And if you do, please stay tuned and watch my other videos. Talk to you soon. Bye! So this video is basically how I do my hair. So I'm just going to show you like a really quick um, tutorial on what I usually do for my hair. Now that it's shorter, um, I actually have to change the way I style it. So I will show you a bit of what I do. I'm not going to show you the whole blow drying process and all that because it's just going to be, it's just going to take way too long. So I'm just going to show you what I do um, basically and the products that I use. So I will start off with, of course, uh, freshly washed hair. You can even do this on hair that's like a day old or so but I actually wash my hair every um, two days. So yesterday happened to be the second day so I decided to wash my hair today. So just um, quickly towel drying in first. So I also wanted to show you what I use for my hair. So I'm using this shampoo and conditioner from this brand called um, Cara Therapy. Okay, Care Therapy, as you can see here. So um, this brand is actually from the USA. Um, I actually got to know this brand when I did my keratin treatment on my hair. So he actually recommended this brand uh, for shampoo and conditioner, which is really, really good for the hair. But I do have to tell you that it's really costly if you actually buy it from salon. So I actually bought this from Sing Sale and this entire 946ml bottle costs $20. Versus if you actually go to the salon and you buy a 300ml bottle, that's like $50. So I recommend you try to get a sing sale and see whenever they have these sales to buy like a lot of bottles and stock up. And I also use their Keratin Infused Leave-In Conditioner. This is $15. Also I bought from sing sale. So what I'll do is I'll just shake this really well. Um, this is also a heat protectant. So it's not only a leave-in conditioner, it's also heat protectant. And you can actually even use this um, before going swimming. So it actually protects your hair from the um, bleach of the swimming pool. So I will be pretty liberal with this. So I'll just spray it all over my hair. And my hair is pretty damaged, especially at the bottom. So I have to take extra care to protect it from even more damage so if your hair is really already pretty healthy then just a regular um, heat protectant will do you don't really have to go through this extra step but for me I do so as you can see I'm pretty liberal with it okay once that's done I will use a I'll use a white tooth comb something like this to comb out the hair and you will see what I mean by its damage as you can see once I'm here I can't really comb my hair out so I have to be extra gentle and comb out the ends. I pretty much have to comb my hand parts, otherwise um, you will see a big ball of mess. Actually, you will see a big ball of mess shortly when I blow dry my hair. Now, these are all like the effects of bleach. This part here, as you can see. Um, oh. Pretty much a bleached hair, There's, there isn't really much you can do um, to sort of repair it apart from chopping it off. No matter how much they say you can use treatment, I'll tell you it's not gonna work. So you can use treatment just to make it look better, but the actual hair is not gonna be any much um, treated with whatever products they try to sell you. So you may wanna bear that in mind. Um, so the next thing that I actually use will be the Sun Silk Daring Volume Root Lifting Spray um, Because my hair is pretty heavy Even though I chopped it off um, So I need that little bit of uh, lift here so that it wouldn't be so flat So this is just a spray so you can just Spray it on the roots Oh yes, I bought this from Sincere as well. I don't know where you can get it in Singapore. So at this point, all I do is use my blow dryer. Um, this is my bronze satin hair fire blow dryer. And I, yeah, if you see this, I don't know. I think I burnt it with my straightener. So um, be very careful with this. So I'm just going to put it on a really high setting so that it will blow dry fast. So I'm just going to blow dry my hair as per how people normally do. 
So at this point, you'll see my hair. You can see that it's pretty much looking pretty damaged. Um, so I can't possibly leave it like that, right? So what I'll do is I will section off my hair. So I usually section off the crown first. It doesn't really have to be perfect because how many of us actually can get that perfect line, right? So but as long as you pretty much get the parts that you want and it's not giving you a headache when you section it off, I think it's I think that's good. So, section off this part. You can see my super bad hair. And sectioning off another part. Okay, and what I have left is this part here. So I will have to use my comb again to comb out the hair because it's not smooth. If your hair is healthy and not as thick, you can pretty much not even section your hair and do this part, but for me, you know, you know what I'm going to say, so I'm just going to comb it out, get it a bit smooth. Okay, so I'm going to use my really really old curling iron, this is from Braun, this is their iron, iron tech, satin irons, um, I don't know what it's called actually to be frank, but basically you can put like satin irons on it um, to actually help your hair be even smoother and um, shinier. Um, this is not a paid advertisement for Braun in case you're wondering why I'm using all Braun products. I just have this for a really long time and uh, it seems to help with my really short hair. So what I'll do is I will start from the front because that's the part that I can see first. And I'll use, I'll put the wand downwards and then I will start to roll. You must make sure that your hair is touching the iron because otherwise it's pointless, it will not curl. Okay, so I will just pretty much do that. If it helps you can hold you can hold the hair on the iron. So I will just twirl, twirl, twirl up. Hold it for a while and let it go. So what I'll have is this. So at this point usually I will just put a clip in so that the heat can stay um, in that curl and it will not go off. So I'll continue the rest of my hair and then when we get to the crown I'll show you the rest of what I do. Okay, so I've done like half of my hair, so now it's the crown part that, um, basically the top of my head, not really the crown, it's more like the last one third of my hair. So when I come to um, the last one third of my hair, I like to use a straightener instead because I like my hair to be um, straight on top and curly below. So what I'll do is, I would first of all part it, like that. So the front part of my hair, same thing, but this time around with a straightener. So I'm just smoothing it out with my fingers. And um, my straightener is from this brand called Royal, but I bought it in Vegas, so I don't know where they sell it. So I'll just straighten the top part of my hair. Straighteners, 
uh, and curls would usually last longer than every other curling uh, wand. So I'll just put this on this side and carry on with the rest of the hair. So at this point, you'll have something like this. And um, usually at this point, what I'll do is I will just push my hair back and uh, I will start working on my face. So, and then I will start working on my face. Okay, so now that my makeup is all done, I'm just going to remove my hair and uh, start removing all the clips that I have sort of picked away. Okay, so as you can see, you will have hair that looks like this pretty much is super super bouncy and super super curly so um, it's time for you to just shake it out I guess So that's pretty much how I do my hair. So I hope you enjoyed this whole video, including this new look that I've just done for you. So I tell you this glow is giving me life right now. So I hope you enjoyed this whole video. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.